Hey friends, before I get started, I wanted to inform you that it was around this time that I realized that a faulty SD card was causing my camera to mess up and some footage that I thought I had has now disappeared forever. This is also where I began to go between using my phone camera and camcorder, so if you see a sudden shift in quality, that is why. Thank you and enjoy. So today, I am working on my Grey Warden armor from Dragon Age. I made the pattern for the chest armor by wrapping my dress form in plastic wrap and tape, then began drawing it and cutting it out. I folded the piece in half to make it symmetrical, and traced it onto some wrapping paper to make my final pattern. I made all of my armor for this cosplay using 6mm foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. Once the pieces were cut out, I glued it together with hot glue, mostly because my contact cement had lived up its shelf life. Alright, time to glue some things together! No! I, it helped keeping them curved as I glued them and then I proceeded to slowly and carefully heat form the chest piece. This would not have been an issue if I had used contact cement, but oh well. Next up were all the griffin details. I decided to use this template I found on Google, and yes, I will link it in the description. To make the parts that were to go on the chest piece, I traced the pattern onto some craft foam, then cut it out using manicure scissors to get into all the little details. I layered up the design just a little bit to give it some depth. To trace the extra detail pieces, I would draw over the paper to make an indent in the foam, and then fill in the lines using my phone flashlight to see them better. For my shoulder piece, I used the same template and drew on the details in a similar way as before, with some added freehanding. I started out by heat forming the piece around my shoulder. Once formed, I decided to add the details using model magic. At first I tried to mold the shapes on top freehand, and it did not end up working for me super well. So I took all that off and decided to roll out the model magic like dough and use my existing foam pieces as well as the pattern as templates to make the shapes that I needed. I rolled it out with what I could find since I don't have a rolling pin and used an X-Acto knife blade to cut it out. I covered the whole piece like this and even added some indentations and cuts to give it some battle damage. When I was done, I put a couple coats of Mod Podge on and spray painted it using that same Rust-Oleum silver paint that I used on my scales. While that was drying, I added the griffin detail pieces to my chest piece using contact cement. Then came the weathering. I did my weathering by slathering the piece in watered down acrylic paints and picking excess paint up with wet paper towels. I started with black but eventually added reds and browns. To pattern out my hip armor, I attempted to use a math technique called proportions. To figure out the size of something using proportions, I take the measurement of one of my body parts. I typically use my forearm plus my hand because it's the easiest for me to measure by myself, plus I already know that it's 13 inches for me. Then I take that same measurement from a picture of the character, as well as a measurement of the item that I need to size up for myself. I then take those numbers and set them up in an equation that looks like this. I cross multiply and divide and boom, I have the measurement for the piece of my cosplay that I need. And that's it kids the only math I use for cosplay. No, really, that's it. I hate math. <laughs> Anyways, with that information, I made my pattern and cut them all out. To imitate the look of rivets holding my armor together, I used metal brats. I made little slits in my foam and then pushed them through and flattened them on the back. And these are just what I had on hand. I know a lot of cosplayers like using googly eyes to achieve the same look, and those would work just fine as well. I added weathering details to my armor using a combination of my X-Acto knife, heat gun, and dremel. These all added nice textures once the weathering paint went down. Just like before, I gave everything a couple coats of Mod Podge and silver spray paint before using my acrylic paints to weather them. And then they were all done! Thank you so much for watching my work vlog. If you enjoyed it, you should subscribe for more and watch my previous videos. Otherwise, I have some social medias you can check out in the description below. I'm mostly active on Instagram. If you like me enough to throw some coins in my hat, please consider checking out my store envy in Redbubble in the description as well. And until next time, bye!